I thought that we had something special I thought I handled this so well I know we had the right intentions But somehow it came to an end I was looking for a remedy What's going on guys, Jeff from Reefies. We're heading down to pick up a tank shutdown. So I got the new tank rolling, Brad's tank's up and rolling, and we're about to get a ton of fish and coral stalker tanks. Really good way to do it. Um, we're helping out somebody that unfortunately has to shut down their tank, and it's kind of win-win because it helps us stock our tank. So pretty stoked for it. We got back seats full of bins, which are gonna help us kind of transport everything back to our town. So we'll go stock it up and we'll catch you guys in a bit. It's all loaded up. That was a ton of work. Every inch of this vehicle is packed. I am definitely kissing the dash, but it's worth it. Give some coral fish good home. Thank you, Robert. Much appreciated. Catch you guys when we get back. So that kind of brings you guys up to speed. It's been a crazy few weeks. Lots and lots of preparation, but things are finally rolling and let's take a peek. So the peninsula is finally up and running. So huge shout out to Robert and thank you for all the amazing fish that we've gotten from the tank shutdown. Um, so it's kind of instant stocked with a lot of the fish in here. Uh, a couple of yellow tangs I had in quarantine from actually I picked up a while ago with my buddy Sump. Uh, the other one, a bunch of the bigger fish are all from Robert's tank. Now I've started to move all my corals in from the other tanks as well. So we got this whole little kind of like floating balmy kind of Acan Island here. And right above it, we got all the torches. So we got torches on the two different little islands, which I think is super cool. So got all the torches up there. Starting to move the Ghanis in. A couple little bounces, a couple other corals. So um, a bunch of like the big homie, that nice big green slimer came from Robert and a bunch of like the bigger little chunks here and there. Um, I did kind of split a bunch of the corals with a buddy. So I got little chunks kind of randomly all throughout the tank. Uh, which work when they grow they're gonna look absolutely amazing So super stoked for it, but you know starting kind of a bit of frags a couple little mini colonies a couple big chunks I've also been taking corals out of my nano and some of the other tanks to kind of help get things started like that scully I picked up last year in Niagara Falls at the Niagara Coral Show So lots of different ones are just from all over the place So the nano is slowly being kind of rated for corals same with my lagoon, but it kind of brings almost to a bit of an insta tank in this one. Now to do this, I did use copious amounts of the Brightwell Microbacter Start XLM bacteria. Um, so I pre-cycled a lot of the rock in a brute container kind of prior to Christmas. So that was cycling for at least a month or so. Um, I added all the rock to the tank. I added a bunch of the Carib Sea Special Grey Sand. And then after that, I added a bunch more bacteria. I added a bunch of ammonia to kind of test it and make sure everything was fully cycled. Once I knew it was cycled, could handle it, then I knew it was safe to add the fish. 
Um, as for the coral, um, I know a lot of people say that, you know, you can't have coral until things are settled and I don't know, these are in there from pretty much day one and I've had coral living in a five gallon bucket before. So I'd say there's definitely a lot of flexibility there as long as your tank's stable. I mean, it may take a little while to settle in, but they'll still be fine as long as your elk and everything else is good. Now, as before, I have been running the calcium reactor, so got that set back up. I now have the carbon doser added into that one. So thank you for that one, Derek. And I have it running via the Versa. Uh, got the electronic on here, so just getting it tuned in, trying to work the elk up a little bit slowly. But this keeps an eye on it so I can tweak my calcium reactor and get things all dialed in nice and stable. Now for feeding the calcium reactor, I haven't been using the Versa, which I'm absolutely loving that little pump. So now we have the NIAS220, and this thing is a skimming like a champ. The 160 is an amazing job, now the 220 is big brother. Look at that, all that dark, nasty stuff. And I actually just hooked up some ozone to it the other day. So I got that running. Uh, beside it, we have the NIAS Torque, and just a little bit of carbon in there. And this one, I'm trying out the, what's it called? Aquachar. So it's kind of a different kind of carbon. So trying that stuff out. Come down here, we have the Vectra L2. This is a massive freaking return pump. And this thing has so much flow. It's actually turned way, 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 way down. But it keeps it basically dead quiet, but tons and tons of flow. Uh, next over, we got the Neptune ATK. And that's pulling water up from down below. And then we got the BRS heaters and the BRS heater control was all in the next chamber and all my probes kind of hanging out there. So still a bit of tweaking to do. Um, I do have the AI Fuge Refugium lights will be going in. Ordered some of the clean kind of pristine shado from LG Barn, so that should hopefully be coming sometime in the next week or so. And we'll get the Refugium going. Now because of, you know, I got the skimmer on there, but I have noticed I have had to clean the glass quite a bit. So I did pick up two just to make it easy on both sides. So I got the Flipper Max. So I got one of these on each side of the tank now, which is gonna make it really nice for cleaning the tank and clean this side, walk around the other side. I got my second flipper for the next side. For flow in the tank, we got the MP60s. Now these guys have tons of flow. Um, so really stoked. I've always had the MP40, so I upgraded to the 60s because we're pushing water a good six feet. And I didn't want any other equipment on all three sides of it. So side upgrade to the big boys and so far they're doing an awesome job. They're running around 50% and still got, you know, you can kind of see decent flow. It's not crazy flow at this end of the tank, but it's definitely seeing movement everywhere. So I might even try pumping up a little bit more. We'll see. So because of that too, we got more like the softies, like the A-cans, torches, and then mid tank, it starts to get more into acros and encrusting and a bit of a mix of everything else throughout. Even with the little dendros, you can kind of see them being like sucked a little bit from the undertow. But now, because the tank's only, you know, a few weeks with lights, really long light schedule, um, so I obviously need a few more XR15s for the mix, but I have my two extras that I had so far. So those two are actually, surprisingly, how much spread I'm getting out of that. That whole tank so far just off two XR15s, so pretty impressed. But I definitely would like at least three, hopefully we'll add a few more in later. But we'll work on that one in the near future. And yeah. We're getting a little bit of the ugly stages now. We've got bits of brown everywhere. Uh, tons of snails in here, so they're actually doing a good gent in it. And it's kind of funny, you can see little white lines where they've walked throughout it, but. Yeah, so this gives you guys a bit of an update on where we're at with it all. So as you guys have noticed, a lot has changed over the last few weeks, and this episode is kind of a little bit of a bring you guys up to speed on it. So hopefully you enjoyed it, and if you did, smash that like button. Now, if you guys are new, make sure you subscribe and stay tuned because this is kind of like one of the dream builds. This is something that I know is going to be my last upgrade for a long time. So I'm trying to do a lot of really cool things with it and trying to do it right. So I'm going to bring you guys along for the ride. So like again, guys, if you like it, make sure you guys subscribe and I'll catch you guys on the next update. I get unstable